watered down or one-sided gospel doesn't work. You know what I mean by a one-sided gospel? That's when they say God loves you and has a wonderful plan for your life, right? That's it. That's the one-sided gospel. It talks about God's love, but that doesn't bring peace. It might, perhaps, on some level bring a truce, but it doesn't bring true reconciliation. And so you have these slogans like, hey, why not give Jesus a try? How many of you seen the bumper sticker? I don't even know if it's around anymore, but try Jesus. You know, try him like he's another product. He might work for you. He might not, but he might work for you. That's so condescending. How dare you, man? That, the, how, what, that kind of Christianity might help you be a better person. Right? A little bit more moral in your outlook and so forth and in your actions. That's, that's the Christianity of principles, of steps and strategies. That's what that ends up being. So you can go to the store and buy all those books on how to become a better you, how to take 10 steps to improve your life, to five steps to make your marriage sing, seven steps and all kind of biblical numbers to do this, that, and the other thing, right? You just fill in the blank. But there might be a little place for that. But that's not what Christianity is. That's not what it is. That's, that's, that, that's, those aren't going to help you out when difficulties come upon you in your life. When the strong temptations come. When massive cultural shift like we're living in right now. Changes are upon us. That kind of pithy little cute Christianity. God loves you. That's not going to work. You need to be truly changed. See, and that's what peacemakers strive for, the true change that the, only, that the gospel brings. Otherwise, it's going to be like what you're seeing today. The, the shallowness, the shallowlessness that passes for evangelicalism, right? And people are buying in or opting out. What do I mean by that? People are buying in because it's so shallow. So even Christians are getting carried away in different areas. Well, we shouldn't be getting carried away with. So what are we doing? We're allowing things like social justice to come into the church. We're allowing things like with connected to the LGBTQ to come into church and to make it kind of okay. It's not okay. We can't do that. That's one side. That's buying in, right? Because we want to make peace. We want to be inclusive. We want everybody to feel good in that way. So we buy in in that way. That's not, that's not what scripture teaches. We cannot do that because we're not honoring Christ in the end. I might make you feel good. I might make you feel better on some level, but it's not honoring to Christ. And in the long run, it doesn't help you at all, right? Because it's not an authentic relationship with Christ. So either they're buying in or they're opting out. Go ahead. Check it out on YouTube or whatever. Uh, deconversion stories. Type that in and you will see so many professing Christians, names that you would know on a popular level that have just opted out of Christianity, right? They just, they just left it. It's not for them anymore. And, and there's a new, so many names. I'm not going to name the names, but you could check it out. So that's what happens when there's this weak, one-sided gospel, this shallow kind of Christianity. That's not true peacemaking. Peacemaking tells the truth without compromise. And being a peacemaker, it sounds a little contradictory, but being a real peacemaker can and often does get pretty rough. Because it's not peace at all costs for us. It doesn't placate, right? It doesn't just play to, to your emotions. It does, we can't take the easy way out because it doesn't work. Look at the result of, of that even in American Christianity today. We can't settle for things like, oh, well, she has her own religion and she's following God. You know, she does read her Bible, so she doesn't really have to come to church and she's doing just fine. No, no, we can't. That, that's not what scripture, scripture teaches. Don't, don't, don't fall for, for that. Or, or these people over here, they're faithfully practicing their religion and they're doing a better job than some of you Christians even do with Christianity. So how can you condemn them if they're doing their part and they're following their tenets of their faith, right? Doesn't that, isn't that, isn't that worth something? Or these people over here, they might not go to church, but they're very sincere and they're very honest and they're very generous and they're very caring and they're hardworking and they love their families and they do good. Do you know what, people? Hell is full of people just like that. Do you understand? 